The Russians are strengthening their positions near Kremena and Swataway because they are afraid of a new offensive by Ukrainian troops and a repeat of the Kharkiv special operation. This is when in a matter of days Ukrainian defenders liberated part of the Kharkiv region, and in early October some settlements of the Donetsk region as well. The paratroopers of the 80th Brigade played one of the main roles during the assault. It was their assault groups that were the first to enter settlements, destroy the enemy, and open the way for other units. After the liberation of Izium they did not go to rest, but continued to chase the occupants, from the Ukrainian land. Now their task is to force the Uskal River and reach the administrative border of Luhansk Oblast. The fighters are convinced that the operation to liberate Kharkov Oblast and part of Donbass will definitely be studied in military academies around the world in the future. After lengthy preparations, the Ukrainian army attacked in several directions at once. The main factors of success were the mobility of units and the right of commanders to make certain decisions on the spot. The enemy was disoriented. They had no clear picture of the situation. Groups were subjected to ambushes organized by AFU fighters. Fleeing from the Donetsk and Kharkiv regions, the Russians left their equipment. Now it is helping Ukrainian soldiers to further liberate Ukrainian land from the invaders. The main strategy of the armed forces of Ukraine in the war against Russia is a combination of constant strikes on supply points and mobile attacks. The nuances of Ukraine's military strategy involve avoiding head-on confrontations, where the enemy has an advantage in artillery. At the same time, Ukrainian forces are constantly hitting Russia's firepower, destroying supply centers, while simultaneously conducting mobile attacks to reach their targets with minimal casualties. This is achieved by striking enemy firing points and artillery, avoiding frontal attacks in favor of raids and maneuvers, attacking from the flanks and rear. The AFU forces constantly create conditions in which they can make the enemy nervous, take casualties and abandon their positions. In eight months of full-scale invasion, Russia lost almost 68,000 troops, not counting the wounded. Ukrainian forces also managed to destroy nearly 2,600 tanks and 270 aircraft. More of this awaits.